Welcome back to the Thunder, back again with another video. I'm back with another wrestling related video. As y'all can see by the title of this video, I'm about to tell y'all who my top 10 favorite wrestlers of 2019 were. And let me tell y'all something, before I even get into this video, before I even get into this video, I'm gonna just let y'all know, please don't judge me by who I picked because, yes, some of these people on this list, they're my favorite of the year, but I've probably only seen like one match of theirs this year, or that year. But I still like them, it don't mean, just because i only seen one full match of theirs don't mean that they can't be my favorite of the year. <laughs> let me tell because I, I, I one time asked my cousin, like, who's your favorite wrestler from like the 80s? and you probably, probably never seen that match. And he said Bret Hart, which is understandable. Like, my favorite wrestler from like back in the 80s or whatever is Macho Man. And I honestly don't think I even seen one match of his. I think I've probably seen one, maybe not two. I know I haven't seen three, <laughs> but you know, so don't judge me, all right? So, starting off with the list, I can like them for other reasons than their match, okay? Like, case in point, number 10, Favorite wrestler of the year, 2019, is Sammy Guevara. All right, I just got into Sammy Guevara. And first of all, I didn't know who he was until AEW launched. So whenever the AEW first episode, was it October? October, November, December. So three months I've known who Sammy Guevara is, right? And I just got into his YouTube in December. That's when I really even paid attention to him. So for two months, yeah, I, I knew he's Sammy Guevara inside of the inner circle, but I didn't pay attention to him at all he was just nobody right in December I saw his YouTube and I binge watched a lot of videos he's a cool person he reminds me of me and to be honest if I was a wrestler he would probably be my best friend because I feel like we kind of alike so Sammy Guevara is my 10th favorite wrestler of 2019 if y'all don't know Sammy Guevara check him out and actually inside the videos that I watch I binge watched on his YouTube I did watch some of his matches all right I don't think I've seen 10 Sammy Guevara matches but I've seen maybe like Maybe eight, maybe close to ten, maybe maybe seven, seven, eight of Sammy Guevara matches. <laughs> but I've seen a lot of his stuff, and I like Sammy Guevara, so he's my tenth favorite. Number nine, all right, number nine. And these are like these are like people I'm looking out for. Like they're gonna be like, you know, I don't know. So I met him, and he was super cool. He was super nice. I was at a Ring of Honor show. It's actually this is vlog on my channel. I was at a Ring of Honor show, and he had a match. And the match was only like three minutes. Apparently the match was with his brother. I didn't even know that they were brothers until like a couple days ago. But he he caught my eye. He was so intense. The way he wrestled, the way he like came out, the fans were chanting for him, and I had never seen him before. And I was like, world champ. He's gonna be world champ. Ring of honor, world champ. Y'all know who I'm talking about. Roosh! Roosh is my number nine favorite. He is so intense. His matches are good. I went back and I watched some of his matches. I at that show, I knew he would win the Ring of Honor World title, but I did not know he was going to lose the Ring of Honor World title because I heard that he lost it. And I, I had to look it up because I'm like, is he the shortest, rain, shortest reigning Ring of Honor World Champion of all time? Because I know Ring of Honor, they usually have the titles for a while, but thank God he's not. But I love Rouge. His match, and I love his finisher. His finisher, his moveset, the way he wrestles is, I describe it as intense. He's an intense wrestler, and I just, I really like it. Roosh. If y'all don't know Roosh, y'all should check him out. He's really good. I like Roosh. Number eight. I pick Taji Ishimori. Taji Ishimori is my eighth favorite because um, he's on my game, <laughs> on my universe, and I play as him a lot, and I like his moveset, and I like his matches because I went back and I watched Wrestle Kingdom from last year. I liked his match. I like his look, the way he wrestles. I like the mask. I like, I like, I like him. I want big things for Taji Ishimori, and I like the fact that he's not in WWE, you know, because Nakamura, I think, is probably one of the coolest wrestlers of all time, but he's in WWE doing jack crap, even though he's the Intercontinental Champion, and I just, I can't get on board with it, but Taji Ishimori is inside, and I hope I'm saying it never mind, but he's inside New Japan tearing it up, and yeah, I like, I like, I feel like he's a little different, so I like his attire, the way he wrestles, his look, like, so Taji Ishimori is my number eight. Number seven, I had to put him on this list, and I'm surprised he's not number one. Uh, New Japan, when I first got into New Japan, I'm not really into New Japan yet, but when I first knew what it was and started watching a little bit here and a little bit there, he took my eye, and I love his finisher, love every everything about him. Number seven is the Rainmaker. I even love his nickname. The Rainmaker, 
Okada. <laughs> we say his first name, Okada. I usually just say Okada. Kazuchiku Okada. I don't know how you say his first name. But I don't really got much to say about him. I, I look up his matches all the time. I do need to look up what he did in 2019, though. Because I feel like all the matches I watch are from, like, later. Oh, no, not 2019. I need to look up his matches from 2018, that year. Because what? why did he wear pants and all that? His hair was a different color. I, I don't know what was going on there. So I need to look that stuff up. But I know that his matches are always good. His finisher's good. His... Entrance, I love his entrance music. I like, I like, he, I, when I first got into New of New Japan, I equated him to Randy Orton and Hiroshi Tanahashi to John Cena. It was when Hiroshi and Okada were in a big feud. Number six, Zack Sabre Jr. Now, if I, if it's late at night and I want to watch wrestling, if I want to watch a good wrestling match, I can always count on Zack Sabre Jr. I love the way he wrestles. I love the holds. I love, like, the way he twists people up and his his submission style, his style, period. I just I love Zack Sabre Jr. I can watch whenever I need some wrestling, some good wrestling, I can always count on Zack Sabre Jr. Love the way he wrestles. Not much of a personality to me. Number five, speaking of personality, this one is a big personality, is Adam Cole, baby. And the reason why I wasn't even that big a fan. I was a fan, but not like huge fan when he was in Ring of Honor. Or, I really didn't like that he joined the Bullet Club because I felt like he was good by himself. But NXT, he held that show down. He was champion for like the whole year. He had the feud of the year. Best on mic, best in ring, best matches, best group. He was winning matches, even with a good group, he was winning matches by himself. And the people in his group was winning matches by himself. He, he was booked good, obviously. He was booked good, but he's just the best. Adam Cole was like the best in WWE. He's the best. So he was definitely superstar of the year in WWE. So Adam Cole, number five. Any his moves are everything about him. I don't need to keep talking about him. Number four. I love this person. I was, oh man. Pentagon Jr. Ray Phoenix. But in this I have Pentagon because I just when I first saw him, I'm like, what the heck? Like his look is amazing. I don't know how old he is because he got to be young. He has to be young because his debut year was like not that long ago. But like the way he look, he can be old. He can be young. And like people keep on like dressing up as him. I saw Chris Jericho dress up as him. Chris, uh, Christopher Daniels dress up as him. Christopher Daniels did it again. Like they just love taking his attire because it looks cool. That's probably why. Like I, I need to dress up as him for Halloween. Like his look alone, but then his. Zeno, Zeno, I love that. Like, seemed like it would get annoying as hell because they do it every match. But I just, I love Pentagon Jr. and I love the name of the Pentagon Jr. and his tag matches, everything about Pentagon. I like him. Number three, going back to Zack Saber Jr. I can always count on this person to have good matches too. And he was probably the. I don't think I've seen any of his matches from. 2019. This is weird. Now y'all are gonna come for me because I didn't see none of his matches in 2019. But I watch his matches at night. Like if I'm watching wrestling and I'm, or even like during the day if I'm watching wrestling, I need to watch a good wrestling match. Will Osprey. Will Osprey. I love his finisher. I love his moveset. The way he wrestles. Period. And I love that he's so super, super young. And I actually discovered him at a Ring of Honor show too. I, he. I just knew that he was super young and he was inside this big tag team match. I didn't know him. But I knew that he was super young. And he just blew me away. And my cousin and my sister who was there with me. He's just an awesome wrestler. And I heard that he had some great matches in 2019 that I probably need to look up. Because I, all the matches I watch from him are like him versus Ricochet from like a ball or something like that. But I'm watching like really good matches from him, right? Like they're amazing matches, but they're not from 2019. So I do need to check out his matches in 2019. But he's my third favorite wrestler. Number two. Number two and three, I kind of like, I don't, I didn't know which one to put ahead, but I put this person as number two because I met him this year. Y'all can look that up. Marty Skrull, the villain, same thing as, o as Osprey. I met him, I mean, I discovered him at a Ring of Honor show. I thought like his look was amazing. Dude, you know what? He's like Pentagon and Will Osprey mixed because it's the look of Pentagon that blew me away and then the in-ring ability of Osprey that blew me away. I love the history. He does the finger break spot better than Pete Dunne. 
in my opinion. Uh, he wrestles better than like he's really he's definitely my favorite wrestler from the UK. I think right now. I, I just I really like Pete. Uh, <laughs> I really like Marty Skrull. I love his look. I dressed up as him for Halloween. <laughs> like if y'all haven't seen that, check that out too. And he retweeted me on Twitter and he favorited my tweet and stuff like that. So, but anyway, and I like his finisher. By the way, I don't know what his other finisher is. I just know the um, chicken wing. And the reason why I bring that up is because when I met him, I told him I liked his finisher, and he was like, which one? And I'm like, <laughs> I got the froze, even though I knew it was a chicken wing. But I'm like, it's the only one I know. He's like, chicken wing? And I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like, oh, yeah, that's pretty badass. I'm like, yeah. But he was super cool and super nice when I met him. So, I'm a villain, Marty Skrull, everything about him is cool. His matches, amazing. Same as Zack Sabre Jr. Will Ospreay. I can always count on him to have a good match. I want to watch his television title reign in Ring of Honor. Number one, my number one favorite wrestler right now, Daniel Bryan. I just want to see him do good. I want to see him succeed and do great. And I want I want him to stay in WWE. I don't want him to go to Indies and none of that. Because I want him to be known as like one of the greatest of all time inside WWE. I want good for him and his story. He's just an all-around good person. So, Daniel Bryan is my number one favorite this year, 2019. And I actually saw a lot of his matches this year. <laughs> but some honorable mentions, I really wanted to put Tessa Blanchard on this list because I think she's really good. Io Shirai went from one of my least favorites to one of my favorites, love her. Asuka is still one of my favorites, like, love her. Uh, and then Austin Aries, I actually wanted to put on this list because I just, I really like him. I feel like he get a lot of flat which he shouldn't get. So, Austin, Aries. Also, the Young Bucks. I didn't put them on here. Ray Phoenix, wanted to put him. But, Rey Mysterio has reinvented himself. But the people from Japan, like Hiroshi Tanahashi, Kota Ibushi, Kushida. I know he's in WWE now, but you know. Like, Street Profits. Like, I wish I could put a lot of people on this list that I did, but it's top 10. But be sure to leave y'all votes or y'all list inside the comment section down below as well as leave this video a like, comment, subscribe, share it on all forms of social media. And until next time, catch you later.